Um, I'm Josh Marsh, and I'm with here with Coach Priya for the Crest New England Cross Country Coach, and I have a couple questions. Um, what do you do to condition your runners uh, before the season starts? Before the season starts, um, it's just a really basic formula of overtraining. So you have them do a larger workload, uh, less intensity, so that they are able to build a base. Uh, the wider the base, the higher that you can peak. So what we're doing is just lowering the intensity, uh, increasing the workload, and then we end up uh, increasing the intensity and decreasing the workload as you end up peaking. So I just really focus on uh, that part. All right, so after conditioning athletes before the season, what's the next step? The next step is we're going to start to increase the cadence. And um, I mean, so we're going to increase the workload and decrease the amount of meters and then and then that right there just forms a basic pyramid of training whether I mean it doesn't matter which sport you're doing that's just the, the basic training the base and then we start to start to um, do more intervals faster intervals um, increase cadence but we do less meters and then we just peak okay so then uh, how do you increase the VO2 max in your runners? The VO2, uh, we increase the intensity by um, decreasing interval recovery, um, adding uh, hills and tempos, doing some of the um, off-pace things that's faster, slower, faster, slower. What that does is that stresses the body out so much that it just um, keeps, keeps it at a higher level that you have to try to recover quicker so that you can make the workout. Alright, and then how do you taper your athletes towards the end of the season? Uh, we well, um, decrease the workload, decrease the intensity, and then it's just basically like a snowball effect. The more we do here in the base, the more it snowballs, snowballs, snowballs. Well, it doesn't snowball upwards, mm -hmm. but you know, it just snowballs yeah. like that. But um, it ends up snowballing, so by the time that you start to decrease the um, amount of meters and, in, and uh, decrease the workload, your body recovers, and when it recovers, it recovers at such a higher level, and that's when you end up being able to peak. And for runners, you can really carry, if, if you're a natural runner and you've uh, peaked really high, you can carry a peak for probably about two weeks is about a good uh, amount. If you end up peaking lower, then you can keep it for a little bit longer. All right, um, we've been talking about how we're going over the season. Um, just in a week-to-week -week basis with every meet, um, how do practices change as you approach competition? Um, we really, I really try to like to get into the minds of athletes and really give them that, uh, give them the confidence. So when you're going through the um, eternal struggle that an athlete has, whether they're going to sink or swim, whether they're going to, you know, pull off the track or keep going, they have more confidence and you have to develop the workouts around building um, confidence as well as pushing the athlete to the edge that, they're, that, they're, that their head's going to pop off. So it's a really delicate balance. It, it's all about finding that balance of pushing as well as giving them enough confidence. Alright, thank you. That's Coach Perrin. I'm Josh Marsh.